Face Blend is a tool that allows you to create blends between two surfaces in this case. There's an option for three surfaces and it also gives you various options for how the cross section, basically how the blend is being built between the two sections. You have uh, different shapes that you can use. You have circular, conic, tangent, and such. And then you also have what's called a swept section. I'm going to use the default rolling ball for now. Let me apply this. Select this face. I'm going to leave everything as is and select OK. Now that I have my face blend created, I'm going to go into Curve. And under Curve, I have what's called Isoparametric Curve. I'm going to specify my face blend, and I'm going to put in 10. What you can see is these curves, by default, run along the isoparms of that blend. I'm going to modify this blend. I'm going to double click. and change my section orientation. Remember, rolling ball simply takes what would be a cutter, ball end cutter, and rolls it radial to this edge all the way around, almost like taking a ball, sticking it in that corner, and then rolling that ball through. And wherever the ball radius touches, that's my tangency and on both sides. With swept section, I have an additional option here for spine curve. And what this does is it aligns the isoparms so they are perpendicular to this spine curve. When I select OK, you'll notice my iso curves are going to update. And here you can see there's my spine curve, and these curves are now perpendicular to my spine. And again, this is going to be handy if you need a specific flow on a surface. A lot of cases, aerodynamic surfaces. Uh, leading edges of a wing or a turbine edge or things of that nature require the surfaces to flow and this is a really good way to control how the surfaces flow when it comes to their blends from one surface to another surface is by using a spine curve. That spine curve can help you generate the primaries and then the secondaries and that way you're confirming that all of your flows are aligned and flowing in the same direction. A lot of times that doesn't happen. Your UV lines may switch. You may get uh, flow lines that do some pretty crazy things. Now something else you should know is depending upon how you attach this blend. In this case I have trim all and I'm gonna say trim to long faces and select OK. If I look at my edge faces here, you can see that these edges are now also perpendicular to my spine. So that's another way to indicate what your edges are basically doing. If I come in here, double click on this, and I can change that from long to short, same basic thing happens. These are now perpendicular to that spine. If I double click on this and I return this to a rolling ball, it removes the need for the spine. You can see what happened at this end. Let me switch this back, swept section. You can see the spine. You can see how these now remain perpendicular to that spine curve. So swept section isn't something that you necessarily use a lot of. If you need to control the flow lines of the surfaces, then yes, you would do that. More often than not, you don't, so just a simple rolling ball will be acceptable.